guys what's up welcome back to my second video of reading my pregnancy journal to you guys um, I'm gonna go over second trimester this time so um, if you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe Tegan's over there in her swing she's a little overtired right now <laughs> not taking her nap motherhood right so month four this is my stomach just wanted to show you guys. Ways I was feeling different this month than I was last month are I started feeling better at 14 weeks. So if you came from the last video or if you didn't come from the last video, um, I was sick from six weeks to 14 weeks. So a long time, all day, every day. It wasn't morning, wasn't night. It was constant for me at least, um, which is natural, you know, growing a human first time. Physically, I'm feeling a little tired, but mostly wonderful compared. So I started feeling a little better. So I started, I was just like, I'm glad to be in this area of this pregnancy. Feeling better, it was great. My stomach was growing, chest is better, but sore nipples now. <laughs> Skin is dry, hair is still dry, mild heartburn still. My energy level was decent. Definitely got more energy back in the, ah, in the second trimester. Started feeling a little better. I was peeing. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to be in the video? <laughs> Do you want to be in the video? <laughs> she was just smiling at me. Um, I was peeing more often than before. My current weight is 128. Um, so gaining a little bit more weight. I think I look much more puppy, but chubby. So definitely came a time in our preg in the pregnancy where you're kind of in this in-between stage where you don't have much of a stomach, but you're not like back to what you were before. Um, so you just kind of start feeling a little chubby, a little extra bloated, um, at least for me. My favorite thing to wear these days, still lose clothes, husband sweats. Emotionally, I'm feeling great, blessed, happy, excited. So getting back to feeling excited about ah! Ah, excited about pregnancy yeah so in the morning i tend to feel hungry i remember waking up and being ah! starving immediately i was so so hungry <laughs> starving instantly um i do remember that and at night i tend to feel sleepy yeah i was exhausted by the end of the night you know you're growing a human that's normal um lots of people i hear say that they have sleep inversions and they can't sleep throughout the night when i was pregnant i was the opposite i slept like a baby <laughs> i see my pun there a baby <laughs> anyway that was not funny at all okay food that i'm craving still nothing specific and things that gross me out i didn't have anything specific so that's good month five starting to get a cute little bump i have a dress on in this one you can see i'm getting a little a little baby bump so cute ways i feel different this month than last month are i'm bigger a few bad heartburn moments where i was like really had heartburn physically i'm feeling sore achy but overall pretty good so starting to gain that weight you're gaining it so quickly that like yeah i just remember feeling super sore and super like heavy and tired my tummy, I put getting big, chest, sore nipples, skin still dry, my hair kind of chilled out a little bit. It was a little normal, starting to get back to normal. Heartburn, there was a slight increase. Cramps, so I had round ligament pain, I guess is what they call it. I looked it up because again, overanalyzing, I was like, is this normal? I'm cramping, what the heck, I'm pregnant, this is Zeus, hi Zeusy. Yeah, I'm cramping, so I'm like, is this normal? So I looked it up and I guess it's called round ligament pain. Go lay down, buddy, go lay down. My back started to be really achy and sore. <laughs> my energy level was decent, peeing more often than before. And this month, my current weight is 133. So again, I started out, if you haven't seen my last video, I started out 116. Now I'm 133 by month five. Still not too bad. I think I look cute in things that show my bump. So it started to get fun. I was like, okay, you can kind of tell I'm pregnant now. I'm going to wear some cute things, that, a little body fitting. You can see my cute little bump in. So that was fun. My favorite thing to wear these days is a dress or loose clothes or big leggings. Emotion yeah. Emotionally, I'm feeling so excited. I felt her kick a few times and I got to see her cute face. So I'm assuming I had an ultrasound where I got to see her, which makes it even more real too. I mean, like you, you see pregnant women all the time and you're like, okay, I'm pregnant, there's a baby growing in me, but when you get to see it and you get to know the gender and all that stuff, that's when it feels so real and even more exciting. 
So in the morning, I tend to feel still, still super hungry. Um, I remember waking up and being like, let's eat, like I'm starving. <laughs> and so at night, I tend to feel sleepy with a sore back, foods I'm craving, still no specific cravings, things that gross me out, not foods exactly, more like smells. I smell, I smelled a lot when I was sick. So, uh, oh, okay. So like for instance, I smelled sausage a lot when I was sick. That was something we just cooked frequently and I just could not do it. I smelled sausage and I was just like, Ugh. or dog food, like we fed the dog. I could not do dog food. I was like, you gotta feed the dog, honey, because I could not. Okay, this is the third, the final month, the third month, the third month in my second trimester. So month six. How I'm feeling. Ways I feel different. Oh, here's the picture. We went to the park and kind of did a cute little picture and like my stomach's growing, obviously. So crazy how quick your stomach can grow in just six months. Like what? But ways I'm feeling different this month and last month is time is flying. I feel her all the time now. Um, yeah, so I can feel her kicking. Super exciting in the beginning. I feel like you don't really know. I actually heard that if you've had, a, like if you're on your like second or third baby, you know what to feel for or look for. So you can feel it more like early on. But yeah, I felt her kicking all the time now. So that was super exciting. And it's just more like, oh my gosh, like there's a little human in me. It gets even more real, super crazy. Physically, I'm feeling slower and more tired than normal, but not awful. So yeah, I don't feel like anywhere throughout my pregnancy, I was like, dying like i've read even in the third trimester you are so out of breath and you can like not even walk and i don't feel like i got that way i had an overall pretty good pregnancy other than being super freaking sick like i even miss being pregnant even though i am waiting things i'm noticing in my body these changes so my tummy is way more round chest my bra my bras get booby cleavage that's what i <laughs> That's what I put my bras get booby cleavage. So I used to not have cleavage. I'm filling out my bras now like they actually fit boobs are Skyrocketing man growing quicker than my belly Anyway, skin is dry but better hair is kind of normal back is mild but sore heartburn mild cramps in my right rib so again that round ligament pain like in my right ribs like I oh yeah that brings back memories oh my gosh for a good portion obviously it's month six a good portion of my pregnancy I would like have a cramp in my right ribs like all the time energy level is mild or low my legs or feet they're still fine don't notice much difference I need to go to the bathroom all the time it felt like <laughs> and I don't drink a lot of water so I can imagine if I was drinking a lot of water which I need to be my current weight is 139.8 so again, increasing in weight. Um, I think I look more pregnant than chubby now. Yeah, so I'm getting out of the chubby area and I'm looking pregnant. I got that belly, people are commenting on me, saying congratulations, asking what I'm do, um, which is shocking because even if I saw a pregnant belly in public, you know how they're like, you never can be too safe, but I had tons of girls be like, oh, congrats, or what do you do? And so that was super fun. And then my favorite thing to wear these days is dresses, spanks, loose clothes, some body fitting things to show off the bump. So it's starting to get warmer. I was most pregnant in summertime, which actually I really liked. Like everybody was telling me, oh, you're going to be pregnant in summer. Like, good luck that's the worst like you're gonna be hot which yeah i was definitely hot definitely had hot flashes i live in vegas so it gets really 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 hot here so <laughs> but it was also at the same time easy i didn't have to go buy a bunch of pregnancy clothes i just went and bought a bunch of loose flowy summer dresses and i actually went to forever 21 and got like quite a few of them for under ten dollars they have like a discount area there where it's like really cheap and i was like man i'm not gonna be pregnant forever so i'm trying not to spend a whole bunch of money still stick and but stick within budget but at the same time yeah i i loved it it was super easy just to throw on a cute dress you're dressy rather than having to mix and match find pants that fit or leggings that fit buy a bunch of maternity clothes yeah so i just had few dresses that I alternated and yeah it was dressy it was cute it was easy I didn't have to think about it I'm the worst at dressing myself so I just threw it on things that were loose and comfy but also body fitting because I like to see my belly <laughs> that's one really fun part about pregnancy to be honest emotionally I'm feeling nervous the closer I get to birth but still so excited and amazed amazed at my body super excited 
yeah, you, you just can't wait. Like, I wanted to meet her so bad, but I also was trying to slow down and enjoy the moment, too, because even the journey through pregnancy is amazing. You just get to be like, wow, like, I can't believe my body's doing this. Definitely, I'd be lying if I didn't say I didn't get nervous closer to birth. I've never given birth. People say it's painful, you know, so yeah, of course, I'm nervous about to shove a baby. Anyway, in the morning, I tend to feel slow but well-rested, so I was still getting amazing sleep, like, best sleep I've ever had being pregnant because I was so tired. Yeah, definitely slower, feeling heavier. It's funny because um, I don't have this written, but I remember when you're pregnant, you have the wildest, most vivid dreams. I remember every night having a dream. I remember, remember remembering it first thing in the morning, remembering it word for word or like thing through thing. Like I could recite to you my, and it's weird. Sometimes it would jump from one dream to another. Like it would go into another one. Lots of dreams that I feel like I've had in the past, so like deja vu moments, just weird, wild, like, I don't know. I should have journaled them and been like, why am I dreaming these? At night, I tend to feel physically tired, ready to lay down and relax. So yeah, I'm definitely the kind of person that was like still wants to go and do and I, when I was pregnant at... But then the night, I was ready to lay down and relax and chill out. <laughs> Foods that I'm craving. No cravings yet but tighter, oh, but lighter things because there's no more room. Yeah, so I couldn't have really heavy meals because I was getting big. Like, I, I felt like I had no more room in there for food, no more room for anything. Like, you can definitely tell that your insides are getting cramped because I was, I was, yeah, there was no more room. I wanted light things like a salad or I would have to eat multiple times through the day, but lighter things because I was starving, but it did not feel good to eat a lot. I do remember that. Foods that gross me out, not foods, only very specific things at certain times. Um, yeah, so I don't remember having specific cravings ever throughout my pregnancy. Lots of people were like, oh, you're gonna cra have cravings. I had the weirdest cravings. I never had any cravings, like zero. Like I don't even feel like I would at night be like, I've gotta have this. So I really didn't have cravings throughout my entire pregnancy. I know this is only my second trimester recap that I'm doing for you guys, but yeah, overall, I didn't ever crave anything. It was just, sometimes it was specific things in a moment. Like sometimes I'd be like, oh, an apple sounds good right now. Um, you know, so that was kind of my experience. So this is the overall recap. Looking back on my second trimester, my favorite thing about this trimester was not being sick, taking cute bump pics, and getting to see her cute face and feeling her kicks. So definitely in a lighter spirit <laughs> this trimester. My The second trimester, I've heard this even before I was pregnant, but yeah, it's definitely the best. Tegan's saying hi right now, talking over there. Uh, my least favorite thing about this trimester was probably the heartburn, backaches, rib aches, and soreness, but all manageable Man, all, man, all, manageable, all manageable all manageable and not extreme so it wasn't too bad those were just some of my symptoms that I was going through the things I'm looking forward to in the third trimester are a baby shower packing a hospital bag and the baby duh of course um yeah I watched so many hospital bag packing bags just because I it's just fun to watch pregnancy videos when you're pregnant. You know, I feel like I'm a minimalist. I did not pack like very much stuff. Some videos are extreme, <laughs> extreme. And so yeah, I, 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 I can make a video on that too if you guys want, but yeah, I did not pack that much stuff. Um, but yeah, a baby shower. Um, I was super excited for that just to get baby stuff. And again, another step in making it feel so real. The things I'm not looking forward to in the third trimester are, I'm not too sure, contractions, I've heard they hurt. So again, this is my first time, I didn't know what to expect, so I didn't know what I wasn't looking forward to in the third trimester, so contractions, yeah, or being in pain, I was definitely starting to get nervous for that. Uh, the most special moment I'll remember from the last few months is telling DB the babe is moving and to put his hand on my belly then she kicked him and he said whoa was that her oh i'm so glad i journaled that because you know like right now i don't think about that and i'm not like oh i remember that but after i read it i'm like oh yeah that was so special like i was laying in bed and i was like i think the baby just kicked and dustin's like oh really and it was like my first one of my first times like really feeling her and he put his hand on and she gave him the biggest kick like she's a daddy's girl even in the womb man like she literally gave him the biggest kick like even more than even more than when i felt her and i was like oh my gosh and he literally pulled his hand away and he was like whoa was that her and i was like 
Yeah, and like I was just laying in bed all giddy because I was like, ah, gotta fill our baby. So that's super, super special. Anyway, that wraps up my second trimester. Let me see. Yeah, that wraps up my second trimester. And hopefully some of you that are watching this, if you're pregnant or looking to get pregnant or expecting, sending all the baby vibes your way, all the baby energy your way. That was just some of my experiences and some of my journals, things I wrote down um, to remember. So it's super fun and special looking back and reflecting on these things with you guys. So I really enjoy making these videos and hopefully if you're watching this and you're expecting, it helps you and you are going through similar things and you don't feel so alone because I definitely have been there. So thanks for sitting with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.